What's up guys? Uh, today we're working on a 2008 Nissan Quest. Uh, problems I'm getting is the check in the light is on and I'm getting the P0345 code. What that means is the camshaft position sensor. Uh, now the problems the, the van is having is whenever you turn it on, it's really hard to start on. It goes like boom, 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 but it doesn't turn on. Sometimes it does turn on and then you can drive it. But like maybe like 10, 20 minutes later when you drive it, boom, it just turns off. And same thing, you gotta wait 20, 30 minutes and then turn, uh, turn it on again. And then it maybe turns on, maybe not. So a uh, problem is really simple. It's just, uh, this is the sensor right here. Uh, camshaft position sensor right here, this one. So uh, in order for, for you to replace it uh, and to have more room, it's better to remove this and these holes right here. So I'm gonna guide you through it. Uh, right here, you need a 10 millimeter socket and it's just four, four screws that you have to remove. So let me put these right here. With that out of the way, there's more room. I'm gonna remove this hose right here using some pliers. Now, sometimes the hoses they they get stuck there pretty hard. What I like to do is uh, with the pliers, you can just hold right here and turn a little bit but not too hard and like turn and take out and it should come out all right let me show you so as you can see now you have more room to work on it and to remove the camshaft position sensor you need a 10 millimeter socket so I'm gonna try to use a, a small ratchet. Okay, that should be a good angle for you guys so you can see. Now to, to remove the, the connector, it's really tricky. Sometimes uh, people just try to press down way, but that's not the case. With this, with this connector, it's different. You gotta push the green down push it down all the way you can and then just pull up but be careful so you don't pull the cable out so push down and then just pull push down and there you go comes out Now, um, right here, since there's not enough room to put a, a ratchet, I'm gonna use a wrench. This guy right here, 10. Hold on, there you go. Size 10. Always remember lefty loosey, righty tighty. I'm gonna turn to the left. If it's loose enough, then you can just get it with your finger. There. And what you can do now is just uh, pull slowly. Maybe try to shake it a little bit. Yeah, there.
can try maybe to use a, a flathead screwdriver and just try to take it out slowly without damaging it. and see how it goes. All right, guys, I'm gonna put the, the other part. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys, this, this part, is, it's pretty expensive. If you go to AutoZone or O'Reilly's, it's like $69.99. So, uh, what I did is I bought it at the junkyard for $8. I mean that's not the smart thing to do, but it's just 70. I mean 69 dollars is just too much for this little sensor. So I'm gonna try with the one with eight dollars to see how it goes. I suggest you put uh, a new part. Maybe you can buy it at a Nissan dealership or AutoZone. But I mean, like I said, it's going to be expensive. So I'm gonna try with this one. Now you can just put the connector back. Alright, so it did turn on good. It sounded good. Uh, when I had the other sensor on it, it was taking more time to turn on. Now I'm just gonna drive it for a day or two and see if the problem comes back. Uh, if I posted this video on YouTube, it means the problem is fixed. Uh, so if you guys see this video on, it means the problem is fixed and the $8 camshaft precision sensor worked. Again, I'm gonna say this, try to put a new camshaft position sensor it's always better to put it new I forgot to put this hose Now you just have to put the cover back on and that should be it. And remember to put the four screws on. So all right guys, if this video helped you in any way, please like, comment and subscribe. Uh, and uh, share this video and thanks for watching as always peace